Hi and welcome to News Making Headlines on August 10th, which feature hot news from the front pages of Thai newspapers that may surprise, shock or simply amuse you. Here's something that may shock you. A sexual harassment allegation against no less a man than a former parliament president. Obviously, Thai Rat headline screams, Revelation! Ex-Parliament President lures beautiful C5 official in sexual violation. The lady in question was a sheer leader of Thammasat University with a master's degree from abroad. Thanks to the Friends of Women Foundation, the revelation has come under the media spotlight. The unnamed man, who was then Parliament President, wooed her, taking her overseas during his work trips. She was then allegedly lured into a condominium and sexually harassed. Terribly upset at the turn of events, she took 15 days leave only to be fired by her direct boss for being absent. She took this matter to the lower administrative court, but it ruled she was wrong for taking leave. Determined not to give up, she appealed, went on to win the case and got reinstated. And what about the ex-parliament president, you may ask? Well, he's still not charged. What's worse, she had earlier gone into mental rehabilitation for many months under the care of the foundation after she tried to commit suicide. Another man who allegedly sexually harassed his female subordinates now holds the post of Rice Commissioner at the national level. Still dominating Thai front pages is the Cambodian conflict. Thai Rat's headline reads, Sukumpan challenges that if 2000 MOU is wrong, he will go to jail. Bangkok Governor Sukumpan Baripat, then Deputy Foreign Minister, was the one who signed the MOU in 2000. ASTV Pujitgan's headline says, Demand that Gov scrap MOU 44 and TOR 46 that facilitate Cambodia oil concession. Hun Sen orders heavily armed military on the border. Thai Post headline says, Cambodia going to UN is Thailand's advantage. Mark or opposite has the chance to clarify to the world that Cambodia encroached upon Thai territory. And here's a sad story, an even more heart-rending picture. On its front page, Thai Raj features a mother named Sakon Wan Ratana Rung Rung Chai, battering final stage breast cancer. But this makes the front page because she's not alone in her fight. Her five-year-old son, called Bible, has been sinking to solicit funds to pay for her medication and the upkeep of his little three-month-old three brother. Her husband is a guitar player for a band in a Pisanulok restaurant. Bible's father said he did not force this young son to sing, but as Bible loves singing, he wants to help his family. If you would like to extend a helping hand, you can make a donation to Thanathon Ratana Rung Rung Chai, account number 645-02-034, Bangkok Bank. And from heart rending to anger, Thai Rat runs a picture showing investigators interrogating Dominic Iacono and Dev Ackerman. The two Germans were arrested on Soi Tong Law on suspicion that they were allegedly hacked internet banking information and transferred at least 700,000 baht from a woman's account to theirs. Police say the evidence against the two is solid. Meanwhile, popular singer Ben Chalatit Tantik Wood, whose song Oi Oi became a hit, is in ICU after being assaulted by a group of men on Pattaya Beach. Police suspect Ben was mugged because his iPhone, wristwatch, and 20,000 baht went missing. A motorcycle taxi driver said he saw Ben riding pillion with a foreigner. He claims the singer was heavily drunk and then went into a fight with transvestites. Ben's mother, of course, denied her son is a bad character, saying he went to a friend's birthday party and was returning home on a motorcycle taxi when he was assaulted. Another crime story comes from Pujet Gan. Police are investigating how four of their insignias on the gate of the Royal Thai Police Headquarters have gone missing or been stolen. Well, this fits the saying, don't put your head into the lion's mouth. We wrap up our program with news on some rather majestic whales in the Thai Gulf. Thai Rat shows mother and baby brooder whales being sighted only 2 kilometers off the coast in Samut Sakon. 
A marine and coastal resource official captured the picture, saying it's rare for whales to be spotted in the Thai Gulf. They are normally sighted only along the Surin Islands of Panga. Well, if you're crazy on seeing these majestic creatures, grab your binoculars and dash off to Samusakon and you just may be lucky. That's it folks. Here's a glimpse of today's nature front page. Have a nice day. Bye.